Hi everyone. Today's question is which is the communication processor used to connect dissimilar networks and translation from one set of protocols to another? The options are gateway, router, modem or switch. The answer to this question is gateway. Gateway is a network device that connects two or more networks that use different protocols. It acts as an intermediary translating data and protocols from one network format to another so that devices on different networks can communicate effectively. The first function of a gateway is protocol translation wherein it converts data between different network protocols allowing different systems to communicate. It also translates data formats from one type to another to ensure compatibility. The second function of gateway is network connectivity wherein it connects disparate network systems that may have different communication standards or technologies. Speaking of routers, they are used to route data packets between different networks based on the IP addresses. They operate primarily at the network layer that is the third layer of the OSI model. The first function of a router is packet forwarding wherein it directs data packets to their destination based on the IP addresses. It also determines the optimal route for data to travel. The second function of router is network segmentation wherein it divides larger networks into smaller networks to manage traffic more efficiently. A modem modulates and demodulates signals for data transmission over various types of communication channels such as telephone lines, cable systems or satellite links. The first function of modem is signal conversion wherein it converts digital data to analog signals for transmission and vice versa. The second function of a modem is data transmission wherein it facilitates communication over various type of communication lines like telephone, cable etc. A switch connects multiple devices within the same network and directs data packets to their appropriate destination based on their MAC addresses. The first function of a switch is data forwarding wherein it directs data frames to specific devices within the same network based on MAC addresses. The second function of a switch is network segmentation wherein it creates separate collision domains to improve the network performance. Let's take a look at a real life implementation example. Your internet service provider sends the internet signal to the modem. The modem is responsible for converting the signal from your ISP into a format that can be used by other devices. The router then takes the internet signal from the modem and distributes it to various devices in your network. The router typically handles the local network's IP addressing and manages traffic between devices. Your desktop computer and network printer are connected to the router via Ethernet cables. This provides a stable and often faster connection for these devices which can be useful for tasks that require high bandwidth or low latency. Your laptop and mobile devices connect to the internet via the router's Wi-Fi network. This provides wireless connectivity allowing you to move around without being physically tethered by cables. Your ISP's modem can be considered a type of gateway if it's also performing some routing functions. In some cases, the modem provided by the ISP might have built-in routing capabilities in which case it's often referred to as a gateway modem or a gateway device. If you need to connect more wired devices than the router's available Ethernet ports allow, you can use an Ethernet switch. The switch connects to one of the router's Ethernet ports and provides additional ports for wired connections. This allows you to expand the number of devices that can be connected via Ethernet. That's all for this video. See you in the next one.